It is an unfortunate fact some people whose accomplishments made them a household name at one time become practically unknown with the passing of time. And that is the case with a late actor, musician, and comic right from Erie County. However, people from his hometown do not want to forget him. They had a party this week to celebrate his life. John Last tells us more in this edition of The Last Word. This is the Erie County community of Northeast. It's best known for its grapes, but it's also the birthplace of a talented entertainer from years gone by. His name, Ish Kabibble. Ish Kabibble was truly a household name in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. He was a cornet player and vocalist for the popular K. Kaiser Orchestra. He appeared in movies. He had a deadpan comedy routine that he performed on radio and television. The Northeast Arts Council believes it is about time to honor their native son. We felt that his history fell, falls right into the arts and culture of Northeast, so we thought it would be great to celebrate him. This party is being held on Ish Kabibble's birthday, January 19th. The festivities started with the crowd singing Happy Birthday to Ish. The entertainer was known for his bowl haircut, so with some yarn and some glue, the attendees at the party could make their own Ish Kabibble hairdo mask. It's a style that may have inspired some big stars in later years. Jim Carrey had his hair like that in Dumb and Dumber. Right, and then the Beatles. So maybe the, he inspired the Beatles. <laughs> because of Ishka Bibble's knack for comedy, the Northeast party goers also had a joke telling contest. Trophies were presented to the best and worst joke. I'd show you a few jokes, but with this crowd, not many are suitable for television. So I and she punched me right in the eye. I said, well, well, how'd you get the other one? So I put it back in. <laughs> Ish Kabibble was born in 1908. His real name was Merwin Bogue. According to his autobiography, his family moved to Erie a few months after he was born. They moved back to Northeast for a couple of years before moving back to Erie again. He became such a big star that he eventually became a resident of Beverly Hills. But it's the people of Northeast who plan to honor him every year. That's our plan. This is our first annual, so we do hope to do it every year on the 19th. With the last word in Northeast, John Last, Erie News Now. <laughs> you know, Ish Kabibble's mm -hmm. autobiography has many stories about being a child in Northeast and even growing up in the city of Erie. And the book also explains how he ended up with that unusual stage name of Ish Kabibble. We'll be right back.